Our investigative unit has learned one possible cause of the new sinking at San Francisco's Millennium Tower has been ruled out. So one down, two to go. Our Jackson Vanderbecken reports engineers now want to drive a new support pile 200 feet into the ground in the hope of saving their $100 million fix. Here at the Millennium Tower, all work to stabilize the foundation is halted. While engineers try to figure out why the building sank an additional inch at one corner during just three months of a project that is supposed to stop the high rise from tilting. Fix engineer Ron Hamburger sent this letter to the Homeowners Association saying they ruled out one theory that soil was somehow getting sucked out of the 33 holes being dug for steel piles that would anchor the sinking sides of the foundation to bedrock, leaving two other possibilities that vibration from the drilling caused the soil to settle more, or that oversized holes robbed the foundation of soil that had been supporting it. Hamburger says they need to drill a new test pile down to bedrock to understand whether additional piles can be installed without causing unacceptable settlement and tilting. Experts tell us the test will likely prove that too much soil was lost drilling holes that were too big, undermining the already weakened foundation. If they can demonstrate that they can proceed without causing reactivation of the accelerated settlement rates, I, I guess that's the only um, goal out of doing these tests. Deep Foundations expert David Williams says fix engineers should proceed with caution. I guess then they just have to continue with the construction process, but be prepared to, to shut down immediately. I'm skeptical about the value of the test. Geotechnical engineer Robert Pike questioned the viability of the fix back in 2019. He insists the additional surprise sinking was preventable if crews had just drilled the right sized holes during pile installation. This is drilling 101. They should have known this from the beginning. The bigger lesson from this is that the design team in varying degrees is not competent to do this kind of work. He hopes the tests will help engineers finally get it right. Jackson Vanderbecken, NBC, Bay Area News.